Welcome back to the Zavi Productions. My name is the Zavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a beat inside of Pro Tools. This will be part one of two, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we have our session. The first thing I'm going to do is change the tempo. We're going to go right here below the main counter and in the green, you're going to see a number that says 120. This right here is your default tempo. To the left of it is a little plus sign, and if we click on it, this pulls up the tempo change window. In here, we could change the tempo. So I'm gonna change it to 130. I'm gonna hit okay. And now we have the tempo changed to 130. Next, let's add a couple instrument tracks. We're gonna to go to the top where it says track, go to new, and I'm gonna create, oh, okay, let's start with one. And we're gonna change this audio track to instrument track. And in the name, I'm going to change this to Piano Pad. And then I'm going to put the little plus sign, another stereo, I mean, I'm sorry, instrument track. We're going to call this one Drums. I'm going to hit the plus sign, another instrument track, call this one Choir. And one more instrument track. And we're going to call this Bass. We're going to hit Create. And now we have four instrument tracks to work with. So let's get started on the first one. On the piano pad, I'm gonna record enable the track. And in the inserts here, A through E, I'm gonna go to the first slot and I'm gonna go to plugin, instrument, and I'm gonna choose contact mono stereo. So contact player is a player by native instruments and it can hold a bunch of virtual instruments in here. And what we're going to be using today is something new that they just came out with. It's called Deft Lines. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to double click, let it load. Okay. So let's go ahead and play what we're going to be recording. Make sure that record enable is on on the track for you to be able to hear it. So let's go ahead and listen. All right. So let's go ahead and record that. I'm going to close this. I'm going to record enable here on the main transport. The count off is on, so let's go ahead and record this. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to delete this part. So now we have a MIDI clip to work with. To edit it, we're going to double click it. And this pulls up the MIDI editor. In here, I'm going to extend and edit the notes. And here we have a, a four bar loop. So let's go ahead and play it without the metronome. So what I like to do is I like to highlight the clip and on the main transport on the play button, I like to right click here and select loop. So that way we're working with a four bar loop and we're building off of that. So I'm gonna leave it on loop and let's go ahead and add some drums to this. I'm going to record enable the track here, go to insert A on drums, go to the first slot, go to plugin, go to instrument and battery four. So battery four is a drum machine made by native instruments. You can use Groove Cell by Avid, but me personally, I like battery four over Groove Cell. It's just a lot easier to work with and you get a lot more options. So I already have a pre-saved kit in here. So I'm gonna go to file, open recent, custom K. Let's listen to the sounds. Pretty cool, right? Let's add a snare and a kick to this loop here. So make sure that you have MIDI merge turned on here. If you're not sure what that is, you can go ahead and check the video that I did recently on that. So I'm gonna have it turned on MIDI merge here and I'm gonna push record. I'm gonna turn on the metronome and let's go ahead and record. So I'm gonna double click in here. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to check to see the placement. So I'm actually going to quantize this. Quantizing basically puts all the notes into perfect timing. So you can do that by going to event, go to event operations, 
and go to quantize or you could use option zero and we in here we're going to go to eighth note note on preserve note duration i'm going to hit apply and you can see now that all the notes are in perfect timing i'm going to go ahead and zoom in again all right looks good let's go ahead and play it All right, the next thing I'm gonna add is a hi-hat. Now for this one, I'm actually gonna be using note repeat on the MIDI controller. Once again, if you're not know, if you're not sure how to use that one, I made a video on it, so you can go on the info card in the top corner and check that out. So I'm gonna find first the hi-hat. It's right here. So I'm gonna go turn this on. I'm gonna go 1 8th, and let's go ahead and record that. Oh, turn on the metronome. All right, so let's go ahead and play that. All right, not bad, right? So let's go ahead and add the choir next. So I'm going to record enable the choir here, go to insert A, go to plugin, instrument, and this time I'm going to be using expand two. I'm gonna to go to vocals, and I'm going to choose female uh, choir. Where's it at? Okay, let's try this one. Let me see. I'm going to go up one octave. Okay. Let's go ahead and record that. Once again, record. And let's, let's record it. All right, so let's go ahead and double click on the clip here. You can see that it's a little bit off, so I'm going to highlight the notes and use option zero for quantizing. And I'm gonna go to quarter notes, see what that looks like. That looks pretty decent. Extend these here, turn off the metronome, and let's listen to what we got. not bad right so next thing we're gonna add is the bass so let's go ahead and record enable the bass go to insert a you know the routine plugin instrument and this time I'm gonna go with massive and I'm gonna go to browser I already know which one I want so I'm gonna type in blow two. Whoa. oh oh okay I think it's below two. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the base. Below starts with B. Below two. There it is. All right. So let's listen to what we got. I'm gonna turn down the octave here, and I think it goes. So let's go ahead and record that. Metronome on and record. Okay, that was a mistake. Let's redo that. Let's check it. Uh, it looks pretty decent. Once again, option zero. Quantize quarter notes. I think this might be an ace. Apply. Yeah. So basically with the bass, what I did is I lined it up with the kick. So every time the kick hits, the bass is going to hit as well. So let's go ahead and listen to this. I'm going to loop it. All 
Alright guys, we're going to end part 1 here. In part 2, I'll show you how to extend these MIDI clips, convert them into audio, make an arrangement, add effects, edit, mix, and finally master. So make sure to come back next week for part 2. Thank you for watching. I'll be posting part 2 next week, so if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.